آریانا افغانستان یگانه شبکه تلویزیونی ملی افغانها در خارج از کشور توانا بود ارکی دانا بود ز دانش دل پیر برنا بود شال هوا را مسی او دینه نه راځي د په هنر نه د په اخبارونه دیر خیر اغلاست ز مریم اسماعیل ارسلا د اخبارونه تاسته د آریانا افغانستان نریوال شبکه کې خبرند کوم او ایله لرم چې تاسو زر پور او استفاده ورسی بینندگان عزیز و ارجمند برنامه دانش روشناهی است با ارزوی صحت و سلامت شما برنامه امروز آغاز می کنیم امیدوار هستم شاد و صحتمند باشین و هفته خوش و پرثمره را در کنار عزیزانتان در هر گوشه و کنار جهان که هستین سپری کرده باشین و باز هم خوشحال هستم که در برابر شما عزیزا قرار دارم و امیدوار هستم که برنامه امروز ما هم یک برنامه بسیار جالب و پر از معلومات خوبی است مشاهده کنین و استفاده خوبی به عمل آورده بتونین دوستان عزیز ارجمند قبل از که به محتویت برنامه امروز بپردازم از فامیلای گرامی از جوانان عزیز، نوجوانان عزیزی که با از پوهنتون های مختلف در سراسر امریکا و تا اروپا و مملکه دیگه که هم هستن سراسر جهان بگویم فارغ تحصیل شده باشن امیدوار هستم که معلومات خود به من بفرستن و البته تبریکی به همه میگم به تمام جوانان که البته یک تعداد که شاید انوز فارغ تحصیل نشده باشن چرا که تاریخ گریجویشن یا فارغ تحصیلی در دسترکت های مختلف، پانتون های مختلف، استیت های مختلف فرق می کنن. ولی یک تعداد البته رفتن به مراسم فارغ تحصیلی خود وایا به گریجویشن سرمونی و فارغ تحصیل شدن برشان تبریک می گم آینده درخشان برشان آرزو می کنم و به فامیل ها و عزیزانشان هم تبریک و تعنیت می گم و از ای عزیزا خواهش می کنم چی از ای چی که والدین گرامی و یا خود جوان های عزیز کسایی که از پانتون های مختلف با درجات مختلف گرفتن چی بچلر دیگری باشه و چی درجه مستری و یا دکترا و پی ایش دی باشه خوشحال می شم که به ایمیل ما که mirsala.gmail.com بروی صفحه تلویزیون است می بینین اگر اکس های گراجویشن تانه و با معلوماتی که در باره دیگری و درجه علمی تان با ما بفرستین تا در برنامه اختصاصی که باره به افتخار فارغ تحصیل های پوانتون ها می باشه پخش شوه و البته ای یک چیز است که ما کوشش می کنیم که هر سال بعضی اوقات در هر برنامه دو سه فارغ تحصیل را در موردش صحبت می کنیم اکس هایش به نمایش می کنیم و بعضی اوقات هم برنامه اختصاصی برای همه کسایی که فرخ تحصیل شدن و اکس های خود و معلومات خود فرستادن می داشته باشین و این یک مسئله است که برای فامیل های دیگه برای جوان های دیگه یک انرژی می بخشه و یک دیدگاهشان همیشه قسم می باشه که یک روز اینا هم به خیر فرخ تحصیل میشن و عکسشان هم نشر میشه و در موردشان صحبت میشه و اگر او هم نشوه یک علاقه برشان پیدا میشه و بعض اوقات وقتی که در مورد رشته های مختلف فارغ تحصیلان صحبت میکنیم جوان های ما پدر و مادرها وقتی برنامه رو میبینن یک آیدیا برشان پیدا میشه یک 
مفکوره برشان پیدا میشه که یک رشته را که در موردش نمیفهمیدن معلومات پیدا میکنن و میخواین زیادتر در موردش بفهمن و ما حتما شما اگر رشته هایی را که مورد علاقه شما باشه و یک کسی در اون رشته درجه علمی گرفته باشه شما با و تماس شوید من شما را به او اشخاص و به او جوانان و جوانا حتما ارتباط برایتان در بینتان قائم میکنم که بتانین معلومات بگیرین و البته این پروگرام ما نه تنها بر جوانان و جواناست با آموختن علم دوستان عزیز و ارجمند از گهواره تا به گور است و کسایی که به هر سنینی که هستین انوز ای زیادتر برای همه کسانی که به سنین وسطی و به سنین بزرگتر هستن درجات علمی بالاتر به دست آوردن و حتی بچلر دیگری گرفتن این زیادتر قابل افتخار می باشه و امیدوار هستم که شما هم معلومات داره با ما در میان بگذارین و با ما ایمیل کنین خاطر که برای کسایی که به سنین بالاتر هستن بر زنها هم امید پیدا می و می که هیچ وقت ناوقت نیست برای کسب علم برای آموختن برای تعلیمات عالی هر وقتی که برای ما چانس می اثر باشه مخصا در دنیای غرب که چقدر شرایط مساعد است چقدر سهولت است می تانیم که به هر شکل می تانیم چی شب باشه چی روز البته سنف های پوانتون از به هر ساحت است از شش صبح تا سنف شروع می شه تا ختم سنف ها ساعت نو نو نیم شب می باشه که از هر نگاه برای ما شرایط محیاست کوشش کنیم که از این شرایط استفاده کنیم خب دوست عزیز ارجمند با باشین که ما البته گلونو ما کمی خوشگی پیدا کرده امروز در مکتب هم زیاد صحبت کردیم میپردازیم با معرفی مهمانان عزیز برنامه امروز خود که دو مهمان عزیز داریم خانم اولن سوبرت که تجارب بیشماره در ساحه تعلیم و تربیه دارن و همچنان در ساحه آنر و آرت و همکاری و هم دستیشان در سطح بین المللی با جوانا و مخصوصا جوانان و نو جوانان ممالکی که با اقیمان جهان سیوم زیادتر اینا همکاری دارن و اینا را با هم میخواین که یک جا بسازن و فعالیت هایی دارن که وقت در موردشان صحبت کنن ببینین که چقدر آگاهی مردم مخصوصا آگاهی دنیای غرب آگاهی ایالات مردم ایالات متحده امریکا را در مورد ای مردم در مورد جوانان افغان ما در مورد زنان افغان اینا آگاهی شان بلندتر میبره در مورد هنرشان در مورد آرتشان در مورد کارهایی که شاید در جهان غرب و کس آگاهی نداشته باشه ای خانم در اون مورد بسیار خدمت میکنه که همه را با هم یک همزیستی در بین همه به میان بیارن و فعلا هم تلویزیون و ویدیو پروڈکشن در کلیفلن های سکول در شهر ریسی دای لاس انگلس تدریس میکنن و شاگردایی که پروگرام درسیشان تایی کردن برندی جوایز مختلف مثل ایمیز و یونیتد نیشنز یومن رایتز آورد یا جایزه حقوق بشری در بشری ملل متحد بودن و یکی از مؤسسین انٹرنیشنل یوت میدیا سمت هستند که هی یک گرد همایی و یا ملاقات رسانوی جوانان به شکل بین المللی است که در این مورد انٹرنیشنل یوت میدیا سمت خودشان معلومات زیادتر برتان می ته و صحبت می کنند و مهمان دوم ما که با خانم سوبرد آمدن نوجوان بسیار خوب و موفقی هستند مشل جان شهریار که یک جوان نوجوان شانت ساله هستند و متعلم صنف 11 همه کلیبرند های سکول هستند و در مورد خودشان که البته مشل جان امینجا به دنیا آمدن و در این پروگرام اینا نمایندگی از جوانان نوینان جوانان افغان میکنن و خوشحال هستیم که خانم اولن سوبرت و مشل جان شریار امروز با ما هستن خوش آمدید میگیم برشان Welcome to our program today مشل جان شما هم خوش آمدین و خوشحال هستم که مشل جان شما هم هستین اینجا خب دوستان عزیز و عرجمند البته سوالا زیاد می باشه من سوالهایی دارم که از میمانای عزیز خود مطرح می کنم در شروع برزی که 
و ای سیف یک انتردکشن که شما با پروگرامشان معرفت حاصل کنین و بعدا شما هم لینای تلفن باز می باشه که اگر سوالی داشته باشین در مورد سمت و پروگرامی که اینا دارن که شما هم می کنین صحبت کنین اولین what is your purpose I just want to make sure to hear from you. I know what it is, but I want my viewers to know that what's your purpose to be here on the show today, and what would you accomplish from today's show? We very much want to involve the greater uh, Afghan community in Southern California in the summit this year because it's a very historic event. We have been trying since 2006 to have an Afghan delegation join the other countries of the world mm -hmm. here at a big youth event and this year we finally have an Afghan delegation. Okay, that summit that we have in July in July, we want to have a great deal with the Afghan community. We want to have a great deal with the Afghan community and the Afghan community in the Southern California. We want to have a great deal with the Afghan community and we want to have a great deal with the Afghan community. میتینگ که هست هست اینو هم اشتراک کنن و حساب بگیرن به خاطر که میخواین از تمام ممالک دیگه از بسیار اکثریت ممالک هست نماینده و امسال از مملکت ما هم است um, what is the purpose of the summit if you can tell us the summit was started so that young people could learn to work together across cultures in spite of their different languages and cultures and religions and social economic groups. And once they learn to work together on a common cause to think about poverty or think about women's rights or think about youth empowerment, then they see themselves as team members trying to solve some of the world's problems rather than as enemies trying to fight each other. Very good. البته هدف از این سمت برای مثلا عزیز ما که زبان انگلیسی آشنایی ندارن ایست که میخواند که خانم اولن بین همه جوانای تمام دنیا یک انبستگی بیارن و جای ازی که اختلافات سرش فکر کنن چیزایی که ما مثلا امکامن داریم و مشترک داریم البته در در اون موضوعات صحبت کنیم در موضوعاتی که ما را با هم همزیستی یاد بتر با هم نزدیکتر بسازه از هم دیگه یاد بگیریم و از دیگه دیگه بتاریم اپریشیت کنیم قدردانی کنیم و از اون لحاظی کار کنیم بخاطر که مخصوصا بعد از آر یازده سپتمبر دو از آر یک که یک تنفرات در مورد در قسمت اقلیت ها پیدا شده بود اینا میخواین که امون موضوعات از بین ببرن و موضوعات مثبت را در میان میگذارن که جوان ها بتونن همزیستی پیدا کنن و تحمل هم دیگر داشته باشن و از یک نگاه از راه های مثبت با هم طرز تفکر خود یکی دیگر را بدانن و دباره کلچر خود دباره آرت یکی دیگر را تمام چیزهایی که مشترک داریم اینا بتونن صحبت کنن مشل جان شما دو سوال دیگه هم از خانم اقلن می کنم باز بعد از با شما هم صحبت می کنم که خدا نخواست دق نبیارین اقلن why is this the first time that you have Afghan delegates why this summit is since 2006 right nine years right yes so why is this the first year that you have um, delegates? How many delegates do you have from Afghanistan and why Three. is this the first time? Yeah. Okay. The first time because I've been trying since 2006 to get them here. In fact, the two of the delegates are coming are the same delegates that I tried to get here in 2006. Oh, okay. And um, back then, we had a student of mine had done a project in 2000 about Afghan women and kind of it pricked my interest in becoming involved with Afghanistan. And so then when we started the summit in 2006, I thought, I've got to have an Afghan delegation here. We, we went through friends and found Weiss and Masuda and a couple of other Afghans. And I got a so John, I'm going to clip it on the I just want to show the picture of Weiss and uh, oh, Masuda. And was it Susan? Susan. 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 Yes, but, Susan. Okay. Um, so then we can uh, talk about each one of them. So okay. 
so this is uh, Susan, but Valley. Susan. So can you? Uh, yes, Susan is a, an amazing young woman. She's 25 years old, and she has uh, set up the Afghan Development and Inspiration Bureau to teach women and young people how to start their own businesses. Wow. So, uh, دوست عزیز ای خانم جان 25 years old است؟ yes. که 25 سال است و یکی از نماینده است که البته دوباره به مو اول برین رضا جان سوسان جان که از ایرات هستند و اینا هم میآیند و اینا یک لیدرشپ بسیار خوبی دارند که برای جوانان به افغانستان نشان میدن که چطور بزنس شی تیچ دیم هاو تو استارت بزنس so they can become self-sufficient. Masuda actually was, let's see, she's 25 now, nine years ago, she was 16. Uh -huh. And we invited her to come when she was 16 to be a delegate. And she went with her uncle Weiss. Twice they went over the mountain to Pakistan because uh -huh. there was no embassy in Kabul at that point. Uh -huh. Twice they went over the mountain and were rejected twice to get a, a visa to come. Uh -huh. So they were scheduled to come. We had the plane fare and everything, and they could not get the visas. And my heart was broken. <laughs> oh, wow. And what is she going to do? Masuda is, uh, she's be a delegate here, yes. and she's uh, graduating from Kabul University in okay. economics, uh -huh. and wow. she's got a job with USAID, and she is going to help build businesses to help Afghanistan move forward. Wow, Masuda John Ham, و آله میآیند و اینا هم از پانزه اقتصاد از پانتون کابل فارغ شدن و امره یو اس ای دی پیش از پیش برشان کار دا کارشان یعنی آماده است که دادن دختر خانم جوان و موفقی هستند و اینا هم در قسمت بزنس میخواین که مردم ما را کمک کنند و میریم به سفید گر وایس یامین یس Yes. Okay, yes. that's the uncle of Masuda, right? He's the uncle. And I've been working with Weiss since 2006. Uh -huh. We have tried so many times to uh -huh. get an Afghan delegation to the summit. Uh, back in 2010, we wrote this huge grant proposal to the uh -huh. U.S. State Department, spent an entire month on it, and were rejected from that. And I said to him, Weiss, you're coming to the summit one day, and I'm going to make this happen. <laughs> I don't know when. Um, and we finally did. And what's a Weiss's background, the education he's, background? He's, um, Weiss is an uh, expert in technology and computers, and he teaches computers. So he's really helping young Afghans become computer literate and uh, helping the technology infrastructure of the country grow. Well, how old is he? I, he's, I think he's in his uh, late 30s, I would say. background <laughs> Um, okay, my little English got me that I'm point to my cross. بسیار <laughs> So, در مورد چیزهایی که بخواین که قصد که شاید باید صحبت کنن برشان به زبان خود با شکل ادبی که بخواین صحبت کنن مشکل می باشه و البته ما جوانه خود باید امی آزادی و اجازه را بتیم که بین فارسی و انگلیسی می صحبت کنن بخاطر که امون قصد که شاید باید ادب خود گفته بتانن اینا بتانن و کوشش کنیم که سرشان انتقاد نگیریم بخاطر که باز جوانه دیگی ما امی جرات نمی کنن جرات خود از دست 
واسه نمیشن در برنامه بیاین و ما میخوایم که جوانا را زیادتر و زیادتر انوالف بسازیم و ببینیم که خودمان کلمه انوالف گفتم مجبور هستیم وقتی که در دنیای غرب هستیم بعضی کلمات میایه و جوانا را میخوایم که اصلا بگیرن در برنامه های تلویزیونی ما تا باشه که اینا خودشان نمونه های خوب هستن جوان ها بسیار با استعداد هستن لایق هستن اگر ما اینا رو موقع بتیم بسیار زیاد اینا زیادتر موثرتر واقع میشن وقتی اینا بیان در مورد تجربه خود صحبت کنن جوان های دیگه زیادتر موتیویت میشن زیادتر انرژی میگن زیادتر به اینا گوش میکنن از ما شما کرده خب من مشل جان بفرمایید خب um... Uh, I go to Cleveland High School in Reseda mm-hmm. and um, I'm in Miss Hubert's uh, media class and she told me about the summit of, in a, about January if you can make them the January I don't know about any program um, I don't know if I was in Afghan but um, she told me that she was having some Afghan delegates come from Afghanistan to the summit as an international um, program and she asked me if I could come join her at the summit so I can help translate What, what they were saying and like help like bind the cultural differences between like a- being an Afghan American and um, bringing so you're sort in. of the bridge. Yeah, I'm the bridge between being <laughs> between Afghanistan and America because I was born here but I'm Afghan and they were born there and they're coming to America to experience the new culture. So I'm, I'm kind of like the mediator between the two cultures. Very good. Well, in the case of Mashal Jan, they will have a pull between the woman of Surbert and the woman of the woman. Because of Mashal Jan, she was born in the world of the Afghan family. She was born in the world of Afghan family. So for them, it's easier to be able to do it. سهولت ایجاد کنه به خاطر نه تنها بعضی موضوعات ترجمانی برزی که افغانای ما که از میایند اونا شاید به زبان انگلیسی آشنایی خوب داشته باشند اما اصطلاحات می باشند هم میفهمه چیزا موضوعات کلتوری را خانم سوبر شاید نفهمه و مشل جان نقش مشل جان ایست که این موضوعات به اصطلاح برشان سهولت اصل کنه که امو مشکل از اونا هم رفع شوه و هم از خانم سوبر ده مشکلش هم رفع شوه و مشل جان نقش بسیاری مرا داره خب مشل جان خودت وقتی که از خودت خانم سوبر دعوت کرد آیا خودت کنم ترس و حراسه نداشتی و یو سکرد تو گید انوالد وید موتیویت یید تو گید انوالد و بی پارد از دیس Um, well, I want to do like an initiation book on them, like I want to do like an community that I want to do like an initiation book like I want to do like an initiation book on them, like I want to do like an initiation می خواستم که بسیار تمام بله. جنگ زده و بله. مردم های پس مانده و همه چیز فکر می بله. و خودت می خواهی که آگاهی مردم بلند ببری بله. اوارنشن زیاد شد بله بله بله, بله. بله. می خواستم که like Um, I wanted to like meet the people as Kavlan is on Ramadan. Ke bibinam ke chikasim asan. Ke my my chodem na me famam ke like cultural differences. Um, ke my inja chodem zindagi me kana my inja chodem um kule like my whole life I've lived here. So my ch me chasam ke like have a feel of what that is like. So. Beser khob, beser khob. So chi fikir mi kani ke he program chito impact me kana ami etabatati relationship ab baine. امریکا و افغانستان و مثلا مدلیستی و how does it impact that? Well I feel like um, since America has like such a negative view on the Middle East as a whole I feel like I wanted to um, emphasize the fact that there aren't really many differences because once you put it all together we're going to be like um, exemplifying different messages through media so if we come together and we like show these messages through media and one median as media then we can um, show the the similarities of the different cultures mm-hmm. and um, bring together the different the different ethnicities and the, since it's an international summit we're going to have students from all over the world experiencing the same things through media so they're all going to have the same experience as one unified culture coming here so, so um Evan um, how I like this is the ninth year you're doing this mm-hmm. I mean, what made you come up with this idea? I mean, what what was the cause of it? Well, we actually started our international program back after 9/11, and we had an, I, my 
teaching partner James Gleason and I had an experience. We made a feature film together and we saw that when the blacks and the Hispanics were on the film crews together, they fought and they bloodied each other up. And we, I said to them, listen, if you guys can't learn to get along, you're going to be getting me coffee and I'm going to be making the movie instead of you guys. And um, so that, and they did. They stopped fighting because they realized if they wanted to make a movie that they were going to have to behave themselves. So after 9-11 happened, I turned to James and I said, we know what we can do because we saw what happened after 9-11, especially people from the Middle East how there was all this suspicion and hatred and everything, and I, it broke my heart. And I said, we know what we can do. We can start with young people, and we can have them get to know each other by working on media projects together. And so that was the beginning of it. Okay, very nice. البته قسمی که ما پیشتر هم گفتم البته دوستای چما کما که در مورد مطالعه داشت پیش از پیش پیش پزگی کردم بردم گفتم که بعد از 11 سپتامبر صدر چون از تجربه خود که وقتی که فیلم وقتی که اینا خودشان دیگه ساختن فیلم بودن و بین دو نفری که تعصب داشتن و در بینشان کشمکش و باستلا جنگ جدال بود باعث از ایشت که اینا را از متوجه ساخت که این نفاق چقدر بعد است و اونا را در بینشان اعتبادشان خوب ساخت و بعد از او با پارتنر خود تصمیم گرفتن بعد از 11 سپتمبر که اینا میتونن که بین افغان و بین امی ممالک شرق میانه و امریکا اینمی مسائل و تحصاباتی که هست میتونن از بین ببرن اوکی okay, if you can tell me now a little bit about the summit so uh, what kind of things do we have to look forward to if we are going to go and be part of it and um, if uh, you are uh, who is allowed to be there to participate just give me an overall view of the summit and uh, that'll be great and you can add and both you can so ahead okay the main activity of the summit is to get the kids together Okay. And How many kids are they going to be? We'll have probably a total of about 100 people. I'd say maybe 20 or 25 of those are teachers. So you have about 75. Okay. 75 young adults from the ages of 14 to 24. And young adults from where? From 29 countries. Okay. We have Asia, we have Africa, we have uh, a Mexican delegation, we have uh, the Balkans, we have the Middle East. So they're coming from all over. So we'll have, uh, from 29 countries, we'll have nearly 100 people. Okay. And um, what their main activity is actually to work together to make seven different short movies mm -hmm. about our seven issues. So these 100 people are going to make seven short movies? Well, the, 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 the students, the young the people do. Okay, the young they make okay. The, the, the adults help them and mentor them, but the young people make the In movies. In what length of time? How many days? How many? Days? They actually have... Uh, six days to write, film, and edit the movies. Okay. Two days each. Because we can't have any gaffes. They summit via meeting or meeting with me. Basha. Approximately 100 people. Me. Basha. That 25 people. Maybe the knowledge is Basha. And after 25 people, the young people, the young people, are from different countries. And they are in the process of approximately six hours. We have seven movies. Seven, and they're about social issues. Okay. Aft film in a tayami conan, dermaurede, umure h temoi, mausot h temoi, film hoike, albat borsami kanimki mausot chess. What issues are those? Seven they are poverty, erorbat, health, sehat, uh, environment, mohi, discrimination, tabhis, violence, khushunat. Women's rights, and youth empowerment. Yes. Very good. Empowerment, empowerment, and then we have 
We have certain uh, activities that will be open to the public or certain members of the public. Um, the opening night ceremony will be open to our sponsors. So anyone that would like to sponsor one of our delegates to come to the United States, they would be welcome to our opening night ceremony. But we'll have some entertainment, some international entertainment, and a Balkan barbecue. Um, and then, especially for the Afghan community, we'll be having what to me is, is really the highlight of this summit. We'll be having uh, a panel discussion from some very important people from the Afghan community that will meet with our three delegates from Afghanistan and answer the question, what is the role of youth, media, and the arts in the future of Afghanistan? Uh, کسایی که اشخاص را دعوت می کنند که اسپانسر های امی نو جوانان که از مملکت مختلف است می باشه مثلا اگر ما شما بتونیم از یک جوان که از افغانستان می اونا را اسپانسر کنیم دعوت می شیم که شب است که موسیقی از مملکت مختلفی که امی نو جوانا یعنی نماینده از مملکت هستند می باشه که موسیقی افغانی هم می باشه و غذا هم شامل می باشه در شب اول پروگرام می باشه و البته در پنلشان هم می مونه برگزیده افغان هستن که و که با این نماینده های جوانه که می آین سی نفره که می آین با هنا می باشن و در مورد البته آنر و آرد افغانستان در مورد موضوعات دیگی اینا معلومات می تن برای کسایی که اونجا می آین و این دن وین از سو دست در فرست نایت از فور جست در سپانسرز رایت And, and the delegates and, the delegates, and then yeah. the Afghan uh, panel discussion will be on July 19th and, and that one who can uh, who are your audience uh, still the 100 people or is there well, is it open to public? That, that'll be open to um, uh, once again to the to sponsors or certain dignitaries from the Afghan community we will will invite okay but if anyone is, is very interested we can only have 50 people okay. addition to the delegates so that'll be open certainly to our, any of our sponsors or anyone in the community that expresses an interest if we have seats. Okay. Then we can open it up to them. خب یعنی اگر امکانات و جای باشه شاید بتونن که میمونه دیگه هم داشته باشن اما عموما اشخاص هستن که دعوت شده می باشه که اینا اونجا بیاین و کسایی هستن که البته برای اینا شناخته شده می باشه و در موردشان می فهمن و کسایی کسانی هستن که در پنل هم می باشن و امین نماینده ها در اونجا روز در July 19th. July 19th. Yes. And uh, let me add, in addition to, um, because we do need people to sponsor the Afghan delegates here. So in addition to that, though, we also need volunteers. So we need people to volunteer, and they would, of course, if they volunteer at the summit, they'd be invited to the panel discussion as well. And what would the volunteers do? What We have multiple things for the volunteers to do. They could drive people to the airport and back. They could drive the kids on their field trips. They can um, act in the movies. They can provide their homes for the movies. So oh, wow. we have multiple. <laughs> wow, wow. There is there is a volunteer job for any skill that we have. Why in all but about don't tell about a ham the red turn key as hoskey I'm raising a car as well how they get big that and while by threat do a talabona I'm raising a coma current as a drive cardane key as the man and the color than a he John was yet job a joy the guy well I talk even food right yes if there anyone like to get a desire for me آماده کردن غذا و همچنان و اگر بتانین که خودتان به می فلم هایی که اینا تهیه می کنن می خواهید فلم باشین یا این نقشه را بازی کنین و یا ای که اگر منزلتان را به اختیارشان می گذارین برای پر کردن فلم این کار است که شما و اگر بتانین که کمک کنین واقعا اینا البته ضرورت دارن و کسایی که ای کمک کار می کنه اونا هم البته به ایسم دعوت می شن و می تونن که اشتراک کنن so That's it. What else? Oh, the final uh, night, though, is, is probably going to be the most spectacular. So July 26th, we will have the closing night ceremony. And that okay. night, we'll get to see all of the films the students have been working on. We're going to have performances from um, 
there we will have some Armenian children come and we'll have some American hip-hop and we'll have Japanese taiko drummers and Michelle is going to find us a, an Afghan singer because Mahmoud Asam, Asami has a wedding that night. We were hoping we could get him but uh, he has a wedding that night. So it's going to be an international performance and um, from previous closing night ceremonies. 26th at Soka Performing Arts Center and that will be open to the public. Oh really? Yes. So yes. are there? Uh, is it admission is free or? Admission it? is free to our sponsors and our volunteers. Good. So I'm glad you're charging for. <laughs> yes, and then that's... then for everybody else it'll be twenty five dollars. And that's very reasonable. Wa shabe khalish ke July bista shasham mu shabe closing mi program mi bosha ke musiqi u gaza u hamat chiz mi bosha u film hai ke jawana par mi karan wa is film har ham ba nabaish mi karan ke ek shabe jalebo dide ni mi bosha. و تکیتای شام 25 دلار می باشه که سال قطع شد و البته سوک یونیورسیتی که سایت مخصوص و آرنج کمپی هستن برایشان نزدیک است و علاوه قطع شدن می تونه برند که یک چیز بسیار جالب خوب می باشه و همچنین اگه سپورت و پشتیبانی از این پروگرام بسیار خوب است به خاطر که اما تنها ما که میایم بر از اونها یک چانس خوب است که بر پیشرفتشان بسیار کمک می کنه. The movies that they are making, um, they just come up with their own script and everything. Mm -hmm. Yes, they're, they're actually they're called public service announcements. Oh, okay. And they have to be something that can make sense without dialogue, because they're without dialogue without okay. no dialogue because they're shown all over the world. Okay. And it can't be. It has to be something that is understandable in every country without oh. being able to speak English. So one of the requirements is is that it must be no dialogue. They'll have one, maybe one tagline at the end in English, and that's it. Um, and th the idea of these short movies is to show a problem mm -hmm. and to show a solution to that problem. Okay. So the kids start to think, oh, we've got all these problems around the world, but there's solutions. Mm -hmm. And we as young people can think of some of these solutions and then inspire other young people to follow these solutions. Very good. And that's really the purpose of the PSAs. And then they go all over the world. They're online, they're in film festivals, they're screened at City Hall, they're shared with friends and family. I use them in my classrooms. Uh, when I have a substitute teacher, they show the movies and there's a study guide that goes with it. So that there's actually great impact from these movies these kids make. And when people realize that, wow, this girl from Afghanistan and this boy from uh, Gambia and, and this girl from Serbia and this uh, other uh, girl from Mexico and they all worked together and they didn't fight and they made something special. It's great. It's fabulous. Mashallah, you know, Khaled, at the moment that the film I like to see, the PSA Public Service Announcement, the moment that you want to share with me, you want to talk about what impact did it have on you? Which one did you like? Um, I feel like an issue that needs to be emphasized, like in the Avian community especially, is like women's rights and women's issues. Because like the voices of women, I think all over the world actually, especially in like underdeveloped countries, are not voiced. So I feel like emphasizing those rights and all of that should um, be uh, shown through this program. So I feel like it's a very important um, aspect towards the summit itself because, yeah, because women's rights aren't emphasized enough. So very good. So, خب خب اگر از امکان تکنیکی خوش کنم که ویدیو کلیپ را که خانم اولان آوردن اگر مودا the did you tell the minutes or did you tell them what minutes to play the videos? Yes. Yes. Okay. Vale. خب what is our video? سیگمنت اگر استاب کنیم که خانم ابلان در مورد صحبت کنه آقای داوری We are example for all women of Afghanistan We can give the example of teachers We have talent teachers Because they are, they are leading other students Students are becoming teachers And through teacher we can lead, we can learn We can get education on other, other girls and also we can give the example of women to advocate of people in parliament and they are raising their, their voice and they are those people who are together in the problem of every woman, not only women, every human of Afghanistan. Grand Duchess uh, Charlotte, who has been uniting... Uh... 
Okay, can you tell us about that segment? Please? Yes. Now this wasn't um, this wasn't one of the movies made at the summit. Okay. This was a separate project that was funded by the U.S. State Department. Okay. And uh, they asked us to come up with a project for Women's Day. Okay. And what we wanted to do, because we've been trying for so long to get Afghans into our family, into our summit family, we said if we can't bring them there, then we'll, we'll have something online. So we had a Facebook page and we had a video component. And all of the women from around the world, we had women around the world share what were the problems in their country, who inspired them, what were their influences, what were their hopes and dreams. And so this project came out of our desire to include Afghan women with other women around the world. Very good. Club segment of Personal dream is to complete my education and after that I would like to make a, a manufacturer to raise the national product of my country, increase employment and demolish poverty and crimes. Ultimately make my country to be self sufficient. Okay, so can you tell us about this clip? How did you come up with that one? And who found these clips? This was part of that same project. Yeah, okay. So um, some of these clips were filmed by a group of women at university in Afghanistan. Uh, so they filmed some of these. And Weiss, who is coming to be with us, okay. filmed some of the other clips. So how did you find Weiss and Masuda and Sosan? How did you find them? How did you cho choose them? There was a lady... Then when we first did our Afghan documentary back in 2000 with my students, there was a lady that worked in Afghanistan. She was an American, but she worked in Afghanistan. And uh, she, her name was also Susan. And she hooked us up with uh, Omar, and then Omar took us to wife. So it was a connection of people from, you just start at one place and you ask, do you know anyone in Afghanistan? And eventually, someone does. And that's how we found wife. Unfortunately, and this is one of the problems we're trying to overcome, is that all people hear about Afghanistan in the media is bombings and death and destruction. And so I would love to go to Afghanistan and, and prove there's another side to Afghanistan. And also, the media like emphasizes the fact that, like you said, there's like bombing and destruction in Afghanistan. And we want to like shed the light that there is actually like life and there's like a culture that that's hidden through this. So we're going to try to show that through media rather than showing the destruction of it. Very good. That's very important because you, you're right. I mean, once you say that you're from Afghanistan, all the <laughs> picture a war-torn country. Right. And war the, on terror and everything. Yes, and terror and corruption because they see the government corruption and then they see warlords and all kind of... So they don't see the real Afghanistan. They don't see the, understand the real culture. Yeah. or anything so that's a very good point mm -hmm. and it's very nice of you to do that yes <laughs> yes well, i had an afghan student once and we had an international friendship day and uh, she was the first afghan student i had before me so. <laughs> and we had a friendship day and i asked the students to wear something from their native dress and to bring any artifacts they had and this young lady was showing me pictures from afghanistan and she said and this was after 9 11 and she said you see how beautiful the country is and and she was telling me all all about the country and she had so much love in her heart for the country and i thought it's so sad that most people don't can't see the side of it and you're very i think being able to embrace where you're from and like being able to like come into into peace with it and everything um has like i think like a main like factor of that has to do with like the idea of like co like being comfortable with everything and like um, like my parents would always tell me that like you need to like have knowledge behind your background before you sh express it with anyone else. So I think that like we're taking action by like educating the youth of t of like the entire society of. And that's a very good point. Um, with my within my own experience being a teacher because I do deal with you know children from different cultures, young mm -hmm. people, and the ones um, that they don't have strong um, identity is because they don't have enough information about their own back background right. mm -hmm. because they don't they kind of do not identify with who they are so it's hard for them they don't know what to say yeah. so they would rather keep quiet mm -hmm. but yet if you 
dig in about your own background and have a strong base. Yes. Then yes. You like take pride in it. Exactly. Right. You yeah, take absolutely. pride in it. Uh, I, it's interesting to me because I never ever want us all to be just in blue jeans watching American films. I'm so bored of that. I want to see your sari. I, we were talking on the way down about the Afghan, beautiful Afghan dresses with the mirrors on them. And I want to see all of that because that's all like a flower garden. Right. And we're all alike in that we need air and water uh, and soil to grow in. So we're uh -huh. more alike than we're different. But I want to see all the different kinds of flowers. And also the same with religious identity, if you know or if you're familiar with your religion, and I have the same experience, but I would rather say it in Farsi so our viewers could benefit from it, and then later on I'll tell you. Being that Aziz Albata, Mashal John, wa Khonam Evland, and Mavzud, Gratik Sobat Mikoran, ke ar kadar ke ohiyat ohiyat ma bar ma manu ma shawag ohiyat khali dasht avshin dar bari kuzashti khod background khod chi kultur ma bache chi mas di manu mas habe ma bache. آر قدر معلومات داشته باشی و آر قدر با فرزند خود معلومات بدهیم و مون دزد آن نه خبیتر می باشند از دیگر روی اجتماعی و از هر نگاه و اینا خود خود پنهان نمی کنند زیر یک چادر که کس اونا را نبینه و در مورد خود صحبت نمی کنند و ما خودم از تجربه خود به اینا هم کشتر گفتم که کسایی که امی معلومات دارن و اویت خود می فهمن اونا زیادتر آرام می باشند در اجتماع باید با فرزند های خود از بسیار تفولیت در مورد کلتور خود در مورد دین خود تعلیم, تعلیم بتیم بفهمانیم شانه که اینا ارقدر که معلوماتشان زیاد باشه و با اون اندازه آکمیت به خود می داشته باشند وقت در مکتب می باشند وقت در اجتماع می باشند و اما مشل جان البته قسم که شاگرده مسلمان ما بعضی اوقات به تاریخ اسلام و ریلیجیس وقت درس میده در قسمت اسلام که درس می آید بساری وقت شاگرده های امریکایی وقت ما متوجه بودیم که از شاگرده های مسلمان پرسان کردن و ما اکس الامان دو شاگرد خود مقایسه کردم که یک شاگردم که معلومات نداشت خود تیر که دیش نمی خواست با اونا بفهمانه که این مسلمان از گفت که من نمی فهمم چون معلوماتش کم بود و نمی خواست که چون نمی فهمید که ناله اگر ای شاگرد امریکایی یک چیز منفی بگوید نمیتونست از خود دفاع کند دفند کده نمیتونست چون ملومات نداشت ام. اما شاگرد دیگه که بسیار ملومات داشت وقتی که یک شاگرد از ما پرسان کرد و ما در وقت لنچ شاگرد رو دیگه وقت اجازه ندارم در مورد دیر خود صحبت کنم اما وقت لنچ شاگرد ها سوال میکردن به خاطر دمو موضوع درست میخواندن ما سوالش انجاب میدادم و او شاگرد که معلومات داشت یک خوشی برش دست داد و خودش هم شروع کرد که معلومات بده پس بسیار لازم است که اگر بخوایم که فرزنده ما در اجتماع آرام باشند و انسکیور نباشند پیش خود یک ناراحتی نداشته باشند که اگر کسی در مورد دین ما چیز بگوید واضح سرشان بد میخوره در مورد کلتورشان بد میخوره اما دفاع کده نمیتونند وقتی که اینا اگر معلومات داشته باشند و بتانند در مورد صحبت کنند ایچ وقت اون راحتی و انسیکیوریتی رو نمی داشته باشن، آراب می باشن. بله؟ You understand what they said? Oh, every word. No, I do. I was just giving an example of the religion factor, the religion factor, how, you know, if a youngster or a youth does not have enough information, they just want to hide, they do not want to be asked any questions because they don't know how to defend their own identity. And it's sad that they actually have to do to, that. They have to defend their identity because if you look at like a white yes. American, they're Christian or like they're Jewish, and they don't have to defend their identity. Exactly. They're not. They're not like put in threat. Yeah. yeah. They're not threatened by right anything. That, yes, they don't. We're feel like the secure. minority. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. So that's why we need to have a stronger base, and that's why we need to be prepared, and that's why we need to participate in programs like yes. this. Yes to raise everyone's awareness mm -hmm. so people could become enlightened and they would yeah. love us for who we are exactly. and appreciate Equality, us. Yes. yes. There's something very magical that happens when they spend so much time together. So Michelle will be spending 24-7 for two weeks with this <laughs> international family of hers. Because they, they'll stay up all night talking <laughs> because they, they want to 
ask each other questions and they want to find out and they're so curious. And then, because what happens, eventually they just find out how similar they are. Mm -hmm. You know, that their, their religions are different, their food is different, their language is different. But underneath, they're so same. There's so much common. We're all teenagers. Yes. Right. And they're, yeah. And they're so excited to find You're out. You're all influenced by your hormones. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fortunately for us. But, <laughs> but, but then they develop because they work so hard together. Um, and they really are focusing on something very important. How do you end discrimination? Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Discrimination yeah. against your religion. How do you end that? When they have to work on that together then they develop these indestructible bonds of friendship and love. It's, um, you cannot come to the closing night ceremony of the summit and not feel great hope for the future. Because when you see people, all different colors, all different religions, all different nationalities, together, working so hard and loving each other, you say, oh, we're going to be okay here. And also, the, the word Islam derives from peace. Yeah. So they kind of like misjudge the view of Islam mm -hmm. and take it as if it's something that it's not and corrupt the concept of it. So Because the way we are portrayed in the media... Exactly. So we want to emphasize the fact that it's not that. Yeah. And so and we're going to try to show that through media, right. which is the way that people view things yeah. on a ba on daily basis. And that's why we appreciate people like you mm -hmm. to do what you're doing. <laughs> واقعا دوستای عزیز این خانم البته یک خدمت بزرگ برای اقلیت ها میکنه که میخواه که امی تحصیبات از بین ببره و نشان بته به همگی که ما هم ما یک انسان هستیم و یک خداوند ما را فریده بسیار چیزایی داریم که خواص مشترک داریم از هر نگاه بعضی ای که رنگ ما جلد ما تغییر داره و یک زبان ما دیگه صحبت میکنیم و یا یک عقیده ما فرق میکنه این موضوعات است که باید ما را از هم دیگه نپاشه بلکه باید هم دیگه را زیادتر درک کنیم و اینا همین کوشش سعی دارن که بتونن که همه گیر با هم یک جا بسازن و هم زیستی را کلی یاد بگیره و می تحصیبات مردم در برابر اقلیت ها از بین ببره که واقعا قابل قدر است اوکی، um, okay, are there any last comments, anything that I haven't asked you or you haven't talked about because we have a couple of minutes left I, I would like to, can I ask Michelle a question? Sure, oh, sure <laughs> Is there anything you're afraid of? Is there anything that causes you apprehension thinking about the summit? Um, well, I'm I'm not afraid. I'm just like I'm like anxious more than afraid mm -hmm. too. I just want to like be able to see all these cultures and all these different like th these like diverse different p places from the world to like come together and like actually work on the project like you've been discussing because like as like a youth coming from America, like it's it's hard to see like these different like countries to actually come together and work together because of all the politics and like the political anarchy that we've heard about as children like not children but teenagers it's just hard to like picture these separate different countries to like come together as one because coming from Afghanistan or like being a teenager that has the background of Afghanistan I've never really envisioned myself to like be intertwined with the American culture because like I've always been the other or like the excluded one because like I come from somewhere that's like so different than what people perceive it to be, and like I was just I was actually discussing this in school because um, I'm in the core program at my school, and it's like it talks about the different races and the different ethnicities of people, and Afghans and like people that come from the Middle East don't actually have their own race, and we're categorized under Asian, and so like that kind of like or white yeah or, or white. white or white, and like that kind of confused me because. Afghans are so dominant in media and portrayed so strongly through like the political view but yet we still have like a hidden identity so that's why children I feel don't have like the confidence to, to like um, show off their identity and like show that they're they are Afghan because this political pressure and this like idea of like coming from a nation that's not um, shown to be peaceful, so I feel. And like that's, that's a very good point, uh, Dr. Mariam Kodrat. Uh, mm -hmm. She was on one of uh, a summit in Washington D.C., and one of her um, proposals was that in the application, when you uh, 
fill out, fill out yeah. your identity. She said there should be instead of other. Why should we be? We kind of have to exactly. bubble other. We're not other. Yeah. So uh, she did suggest to have put down like Afghan American or Afghan yeah. or something. So we would know that everyone would know that we are like we are minority, but yet yeah. sometimes we don't get the privilege of being a minority right. because exactly. um, yeah. we put other or white because we're not considered Asian. But then we're not considered white either. Exactly, so, so we're not white. We? So when it comes to advantages, we lose those. For example, if a college right. student applies for yes. financial aid, exactly. they bubble in white. They're not considered a minority. They will not get the benefits. Or exactly. the admission rate for each category is different by colleges, like 30% this, 20% that, are going to be allowed the uh, entrance. And Poor African youth are not going to be. They, we're not they, recognized. Yeah, they're not the recognized. It, yeah. So they're not going to given that um, privilege to be like as a minority. They can they can have a privilege to uh, be accepted. Exactly. So they come in the category of white, and then that's a loss for them. So that was a very good point. Yes, good point. Yes. Thank well, <laughs> thank you very much for being here. It was a pleasure having you and meeting you and <laughs> Marshall John. واقعا که یک جوان بسیار نام خدا هم زایر زیبا نام خدا جوان مقبول زیبا و هم نام خدا طرز صحبت طرز تفکر با سن 16 ساله چقدر جوان هستی و چقدر مچور هستی نام خدا چقدر صحبت های خوب کردی و ای که امی کار که می کنی خودت چقدر قابل قدر است به تبریک میگم و به البته به پدر و قدر هم تبریک میگم <تشکر> که واقعا یک وظیفه خود انجام دادن و یک جوان یک جوان بسیار موفق خوب است ان شاء الله که در آینده درخشان داری بسیار خوشحال شدم که امر خودت معرفی شده و ان شاء الله که در آینده هم در پروگرام دعوتت میکنم تشکر ای ایت واز سچ ا پلیجر میتینگ دس یانگ لیدی اند تانک یو فور برینگینگ هر اند ایت واز سچ ان اونر میتینگ یو اند ای ریلی ترولی اپریشییت پیپل لایک یو هو برینگ پیس اند یونیتی between people, um, regardless of color, religion, race, or anything, that's truly, um, it's really worth a lot of credit, and I truly appreciate that. Thank you. Well, I hope we have many people from your audience come and join us. <laughs> I hope so too, I believe that this is the only one. If you have any questions in the Marvi Summit, you can ask me to ask me. ایمیل ما باز هم روی صفحه تلویزیون است و اگر میخواین امرشون امکاری هم کنین میتونین که شما با ما ایمیل کنین و ما ایمیل هایتون را به خانم اولن و یا به مشل جان فوروارد میکنم و شما را با این را تماس میگذارم که برای خودتان خوب است برای مخصوصا جوانان و جوانان بتونن کمک کنن for young people to get involved and help you, that would be a nice thing to do. Right? Yeah, young people. Oh, oh, I forgot one thing. I'm so sorry. We, we're going to have an Afghan youth art exhibit. So the closing night on July 26th, everyone can come and see the artwork that's coming from Herat. And what kind of art? It is paintings and textile work. Wow. And if it's there's all an- Afghan youth that's produced the... Oh, no, it's not a thing that we have to do with all the Afghan people. On the 26th of July, the last summit, the name of Herat, and it's from Herat. از هیرات از شهر زیبای هیرات که بسیار بر ما شما هم یک خوشی می بخش از ببینیم از وطن خود نمایش نمای های را اتما از شما دوست عزیز دعوت می کنم که بیاین ببینین و تقدیر کنین کارشان هم Thank you very much again for being here Thank you for having us خب دوست عزیز ارجمان هی بود برنامه امروز ما امیدوار استم که از این برنامه استفاده کرده بتانین کرده باشین و اگر معلومات اضافی میخواییم سوالی داشته باشین اتما با ما ایمیل کنین و با تشکر فراوان از امکاران تخنیکی آقای داوری و رزا جان برنامه امروز به امینجا با پایین میرسنیم تا هفته آینده خدا و دیارا مددگار شما آب و زدانش دل پیر برنا بود